Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Madistan's Ramadan series, Healing Journeys. This week we're focusing on healing from the Qur'an. And today we're going to talk about a verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comforts the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his beloved companion, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. It's a story that we are all very familiar with, where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companion, Abu Bakr, escape from Mecca to Medina. And during that time, they stop at a cave, Ghar Thawr, and they hide out there for three days. But we don't always tap into the emotions of what was happening for the Prophet ﷺ and Sayyidina Abu Bakr in particular. Sayyidina Abu Bakr was terrified and he was really worried that they would be discovered and the Prophet ﷺ would be harmed and the whole entire message of Islam would be jeopardized. And in that period of time, Sayyidina Abu Bakr confides in the Prophet and he says to him, I'm terrified. And he talks about how if the disbelievers were to just look down at their feet, they would have seen the Prophet ﷺ and Sayyidina Abu Bakr hiding in the cave. But the Prophet ﷺ says to Abu Bakr and comforts him and says, O oh Abu Bakr, what do you think of two people? The third of them is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the story is repeated in the Quran, in Surah at tawbah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us the story directly. إِذْ يَقُولُ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَحْزَنْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا And he says to his companion, do not grieve. Indeed, Allah is with us. فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ سَكِينَتَهُ عَلَيْهِ وَأَيَّدَهُ بِجُنُودٍ لَمْ تَرَوْهَا And Allah sends his tranquility down upon them and supports him with angels that you do not see. Allah is capable of everything and anything, and nothing is difficult for him. And so when we're feeling hopeless or alone, or that nothing is possible, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was able to protect the Prophet and his companion Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq by putting an entire army to sleep that was trying to come after them, by concealing their hiding place in the cave, by putting a dove and her nest at the front door of that cave, and having a spider spin an entire web to cover the cave. Think about how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is capable of addressing any trial or difficulty that we go through, as long as we rely on Him. But part of that reliance on God is we're using the tools that He gave us and seeking out help, just like the Prophet وسلم, sought out the help and companionship of Sayyidina Abu Bakr, seeking out help when we need to cross a bridge in our lives too. There's a reason this narration exists in the seerah, because we all know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have instantaneously taken the Prophet وسلم, from Mecca to Medina without any of these tribulations, just like he did on the night of Isra and Mi'raj, the night journey and ascension to Jerusalem and to the seven heavens. But there's a reason this narration exists, and there's a key lesson in it for all the rest of us. Was there a time that you relied on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by seeking out help from the very tools and resources that he gave you? What happened? Share with us in the comments below. And we'll hope that you'll continue to join us on our healing journey this Ramadan to launch our Madistan Clinic and bring holistic healing to Muslim communities. <laughs>